This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another sort of multiple unboxing video. If you recall a couple of years ago, um, we did a sort of a video where I was showing you my math book collection. We had just recently moved into the space, like within the year anyway. And uh, I had the opportunity to go back to uh, sort of visit uh, I have a little storage area where I have a lot of books and stuff, random stuff in storage, where I had the opportunity to bring some of my books uh, to this space. Because what I was, uh, if you seen the other video, I had a little uh, bookcase here with some books that I had that traveled with me. But then when I brought all the other math books here, it was a fair bit of them. So I ended up building this sort of library i guess bookcase where i sort of extended it up here and took it which way this way i guess right so we organized the books and th since that video uh in multiple videos i think i've mentioned that i have a few more books that i know of that were in storage and some other stuff that i have in storage and i just recently had the opportunity to go to the storage again because i was i had already sorted out some some of the stuff that I had brought back. It, took, it takes me a while. I go through it slowly, right? So I sorted some stuff. I created some space so I could go to storage and bring more boxes, right? And what you see here are the other boxes that I've brought, and they go all the way to the bottom. So there is three, seven, 11, 13 more boxes I brought. And now they're not all books. There's like three of them i believe that are books so i want to crack those open to see what other books i do have because what i probably might end up doing is extending the library sort of the bookcase that i've built here and extending this part as well take it a little bit further i can add about you know from here about halfway i can add about half more here and the same on that side right so i want to crack these open to see what i have so i can organize um, my library my bookcase a little bit more and what we'll do we'll take a look at some of the other stuff that might be here some of them okay some of them are personal stuff and whatnot and some of them will probably not interest you but there is some stuff here i think i sort of you know in very short form put was on the boxes to a certain degree on some of them but that wouldn't fill up a whole box so i'm not really sure what else is in there i just happened to just to fill it up right wrote down a little bit so i have an idea of what go what what was put in there so we're going to crack these open and take a look at what we got okay and i put up my stools here so we're going to put the boxes here and crack them open i got my exacto knife here I got this guy here. It's not my bloodshot cutter. I think I went a little bit, a little bit more heavy, heavy duty than the than the blood bloodshot box cutter. So we're gonna use this. Uh, so bear with us. I might cut up this video a little bit if we hit a box that's uh, we're not gonna take a look at, right? But uh, there should be two, three, four, five boxes uh, that we can take a look at. Okay, let me grab one of them. This guy, this guy's heavy. Okay, it's this guy. Okay, and it's got. Uh, this is nothing, but I basically wrote down uh, CDs, DVDs, uh, magazines, uh, cigar magazines. One of the cigar magazines that I have that I've been looking for was. Uh, let me show it to you. It's uh, and there's a story behind it. Okay. But I'm pretty sure there are other magazines in here as well. I hope anyway. There's still a few things I've been looking for that I haven't been able to find. Or I haven't brought it here yet. Okay. This. in plastic bags and um, a lot of the boxes I put a little dimensions because they were going to storage for a while uh, they've been there for a while right so what I ended up doing I grabbed all of these boxes from 
uh, bookstore chain, right? So if you ever need moving boxes, bookstore chains are really good places to get moving boxes or liquor stores, right? So what I ended up doing was, oh wow, uh, what I ended up doing was uh, going to uh, the bookstore and asking them uh, if they had any boxes. And usually every day they crunch them up. So they told me to come back. Uh, I believe the following day and they would have boxes. So uh, I went through and uh, I grabbed a whole bunch of boxes from them. I went there like a couple of days, two or three days in a row. And what I end up doing, if I have books or anything that uh, is sensitive to moisture, here, let me show you this. So what I end up doing, I grab the boxes, I put a little dimaceous earth at the bottom of the boxes. And then I took a plastic bag, garbage bag, like here, I'll cut up a little bit so you see, like just a straight up black garbage bag. And I put the stuff in the garbage bag. We open up the garbage bag, right? So there's dimensions on the earth in the bottom, garbage bag on top, open, and I stop, I put things in the bags, right? For long-term storage. And I took a sort of a cloth like this and I put rice in it. Okay, to soak up the moisture if there's any moisture going to be there. Okay, so let me just open this up. And I put a little, oh, I put a little bit of baking soda too. I read this stuff online and I had recommendations from people that have put things into long-term storage, right? So I put rice in there to soak up the moisture and uh, baking soda as well. I believe this is baking soda as well to soak up the moisture, any smells and I guess it does suck, suck up smells, but there's no smells in these. Okay, there were, I packed these up pretty tight. So let me close this up so we don't make a mess. Okay. Cool, there's some CDs here. Um, what I ended up doing with a lot of CDs that I had, I also, because I didn't limit it with storage, some of them I, you know, <laughs> look at this, the first two I grab. Look at this one. Um, this is Buena Vista Social Club, right? We won't go through all of them. I'll show you some. But what I did for some of them was take them out of the cases because I was living in storage and I took the paper out and I put the CDs into cases, right? These ones, I kept the cases. So let me show you some of these guys. Buena Vista Social Club. This is a Cuban Afro uh, group that was put together by Ry Cooter. Uh, uh, Ry Cooter, he sort of went to Cuba in the 1990s I believe, or maybe late 1980s, I think early 1990s. And he tracked down some of the old school Cuban, Afro-Cuban musicians, right? And uh, he put out their album. I think this is the first album they put out. And I've gone and seen Bono Vista Social Club in the 90s. They were touring. I went and saw them a couple of times with Ruben. What was his name? I forget the names. Uh, but I went and saw them. They were amazing. Uh, here's one. Uh, Red Army uh, Chorus and Dance Ensemble, right? Russian music, really amazing, powerful, powerful music. Okay. Used in soundtracks a lot, right? Los Lobos, right? Fine Young Cannibals. Just some of the stuff I kept. Oh, look at this. Wow. Keith Green, Christian uh, rock musician, uh, sort of on the same level as uh, Billy Joel. Okay. He's very good music. Very good music. Powerful music. Okay. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run. Right? And we bought these. Uh, here's Billy Joel. Here's Billy Joel. Andrew Ross. I don't think we're going to go through all these a whole box of CDs. What's this one? I thought I can't remember this one. Oh my God, this is Delirium. Check this out. Delirium. Electronic sort of music producers. Fantastic. I hope the CD's in here. Yes. Nice. Nice. Very cool. I haven't listened to these for a long time. The Stone Roses. 
oh wow, this is uh, Dejan Gasparian. He's an Armenian. Um, yeah, Dejan Gasparian. He's an Armenian, uh, sort of an Armenian flute musician. Beautiful. Peter Gabriel used a lot of his music in his uh, for soundtracks and movies. One of them was a Passion of Christ, and uh, it's called the Tutak or um, Armenian flute. It's brilliant. It's one of the most amazing uh, sounds that you can uh, sort of meditate to or chill to. You can. Uh, it's basically two tones to a certain degree. Serge Tankian has used it a lot as well. For, uh, Serge Tankian from System of Down and the solo work, but. Uh, there's basically usually one tone just going in the background. It's like, oh, and another one layered on top. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing meditation music. Gift. <laughs> Here's another <laughs> Armenian CD. This is uh, Alan Hovanas. He's a, he was an Armenian uh, producer, uh, conductor, right? Classical music. I believe he's uh, Canadian. I believe he's Canadian. He could be American. Beautiful music. Wow. This is all full of all oh, nights. Nice. Fats Domino. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad I kept the case and all these together. You too, Unforgetful Fire. Fantastic album. Really. Haha, <laughs> BB King. I saw BB King live. Hot Karabakh. Wow, wow, wow. This is another Armenian music related to Nagorno Karabakh. Uh, it's, uh, it is what it is, right? Oh, who's this? DJ Obert. Check this out. Fun. Someone uh, had asked me if I listened to Los Lobos. Here's Los Lobos. We go through all of this. We can't go through all of this. Oh my god, look at these. Also, the magazines are in the bottom. Gatecrasher. Look at this. Gatecrasher. Who are these? It's too small. I can't read that. I gotta put on my glasses. Bonnie Ray. Gotta love Bonnie Ray. Right? Fantastic. This check this out check this out come on see these in there DVD. come on yeah yes yes this i listened to a lot in the 90s let me put it back renaissance sasha and john digweed okay triple cd triple album collection first Fantastic electronic. I haven't listened to this for a while. So based on the 90s, amazing, amazing, amazing music, right? And it opens up. It's like a... And we used to loop this. Phenomenal. And the CDs are still in there. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Come on, baby. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Just beautiful. Right? And we got the blue one. Fantastic. Wow, wow, wow. I listened to this, this and a few other ones. Uh, John Digby was amazing. Uh, what are these guys? These are some DVDs. Oh. I used to buy some, uh, uh, well, I have some Korean and uh, Japanese movies. This was a crazy movie. Fantastic and amazingly beautiful horror right i don't if it's korean horror i believe um it could be japanese but i think it's korean a beautiful movie uh, like visually stunning and korean and japanese horror movies just go insane right here's uh some classic masterworks horror movies black and white silent as well i believe yeah you gotta I know people that don't uh, haven't watched some of the classics. Let me put these guys on the side here because uh, I want to get to the magazines. <laughs> I want to see. I don't think we're going to go through all the boxes. Let's check this out. Let me move these CDs over. Northern Express. 
exposure. Look at this. Sasha and John Digweed Northern Exposure. This was amazing too. Beautiful music. Oh, the CD is not here. Oh, one of them is. The other one's missing. It's somewhere in another box. I'll find it. I'll find it someday, right? If you haven't seen watch it grass fantastic documentary about uh, prohibition on cannabis a lot of historical facts and uh, what was it called reefer madness syndrome right I'm not gonna spring these out tonic let's take a look at these why not tonic right it's not like we're in a rush is it third world Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. Look at this. Afro Cuban All Stars. Fantastic. Fantastic. Really. I think I'm going to be listening to some CDs, right? Richard Hakopian. Armenian traditional folk music. Nice music. Okay. Nice. Thievery Corporation. I've seen Thievery Corporation. Fantastic. Right. Good music. Bonavista Social Club. This is the one, uh, Ruben Gonzalez. That's the piano player's name. And this is Ibrahim Farim. Fer, uh, Ferrer. This is their, I believe, their first album. It could be their second. Bonavista Social Club. Amazing music. If you're looking for Afro Cuban uh, type of style of music. Fantastic. Really. Uh, Rai Cooter. Uh, when you went to track them down it, it, there's a documentary as well if you like documentaries for sure watch it it's fantastic Whew. buddy holly very nice very nice oh that was uh volume two here's volume one of the russian music here is gomitas armenian music okay Fantastic, traditional, some amazing poetry here. Deep, deep, deep. Okay, Gomitas. And I believe the Jean Gasparian is uh, also part of this, maybe. Fry action, who is this? Friction, welcome to our world. I don't remember this one very much. Got to be hip hop, no? I don't remember this one at all. Made in Canada. I think these are local bands that were selling their CDs and we ended up buying them. Should I show you some of the DVDs we got? Here's some more music. Oh, nice. Take a look. <laughs> you know I'm a Rush fan, right? Rush Chronicles. Awesome. This has got the first three albums, I believe. No, it's got, uh, uh, da, da, da. it's got 2112, okay, what else does it have? Permanent waves probably, I'll have to look at it, i have to put on my glasses, okay. What's this one? More traditional Armenian music. I guess I kept some of my Armenian music collection in this, right? Uh, Armenian music. Cool. What else we got? The tragedy, the music, a collection of traditional Armenian songs. Some of the stuff is very depressing, like heavy, heavy, right? I believe this was put out after the earthquake in Armenia. Havana Nights. I love my Afro-Cuban music, man. That was fantastic stuff. Deep, right? Alan Hovanas. Again, classical music. There's one more. We're going through the whole box. I showed you everything. Here's you too. Nice Joshua Tree, right? Sorry, that one. That one. The other one was Unforgetful Fire. Joshua Tree as well. Unforgetful Fire. I like more than Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree is fantastic, but Unforgetful Fire. Actually, Joshua Tree and Down. Fantastic music. I love that era of you too. Okay. Uh, but Unforgetful Fire for me was uh, the cream of what YouTube put out. 
<laughs> Let me show you the DVDs. These are some Japanese, Korean, um, Asian runner. Great movies, some of these. Some of these are just trippy. This one was like an alien musical thing. Right. I forget what the name for it is. What is this? Oh, look at this. I guess we kept this from a rental place, but check this out. Donnie Darko. If you haven't seen Donnie Darko, watch Donnie Darko. Okay. Fantastic. I haven't seen it forever. Kung Fu Wars. Nice. City Hunter. Nice. The Mission. Right. I have some CDs in different places too. Uh, Moulin Rouge. Good movie. This is the movie that I've seen the most in the theater. I saw this movie 11 times in the theater. On a big screen, it's brilliant. On a small screen, not so much. This was crazy fun movie. I forget what the English name for it is. If any of you guys are Japanese, Korean, you know this movie, please post it in the comments. <laughs> Great movie, fun movie. This was a good movie. Rob Zombie, House of 1000 Corpses. I used to watch a lot of horror movies and stuff, like them. Oh, look at this, little Disney anime. I think this is Little Nemo, isn't it? Yeah, Little Nemo. Sort of a pirated version, I guess. <laughs> right? Cashin, Cashin Robot Hunter. Look at this, awesome, awesome. Very nice, very nice. This was awesome too. My wife is a gangster. Too funny. Nice fight scenes. And very funny. Fun movie. Okay. Oh, look at this. We got Shaw Brothers here. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. The Blood Brothers. The Blood Brothers. I love Shaw Brothers. I've seen a lot of them. My favorite is the, oh, I forgot the name. I can't believe I forgot the name. Where the guy's, uh, he's a drunk. They do a lot of drunken fighters and stuff, but the theme of that Shaw Brothers movie, he's a drunk, he doesn't want to fight. And he's just the town drunk, basically. Uh... <laughs> Daredevil. Do not watch the Matt uh, uh, Ben Affleck movie. <laughs> Stop watching Ben Affleck movies. <laughs> that was not a very good movie. This, on the other hand, was a very good movie. What is this called? I don't even know the English title for this. I used to know, but I don't anymore. Fantastic. Microcosm. This is great. Oh, yes. This is fun. This one and this one, fantastic. Itchy the killer. Itchy the killer. <laughs> if you haven't seen this, and if you like Japanese uh, chaos movies like Go uh, Gozu, right? Itchy the killer is fantastic. Gozu is amazing as well. Gozu is fantastic. Lots of violence. Lots of trippy, crazy scenes. Right. Let me show you this. I probably, uh, I've mentioned this before, but uh, there was a period where I, uh, in the 90s, where I was a cigar aficionado, right? And I have some magazines here from cigar aficionado, okay? I believe this is a two-year collection. And let me show you these, and then I'll put them down. I'll make space for them. Okay, here, let me put this like this first. Let me make uh, let me make some space for them so I can put them on the side here, okay? Because we won't, uh, we won't put them back in the box. Um, I guess this box, we're going all the way through it. Here is uh, 
winter 1994. Now that they're all going to be in order, okay? So in the 90s, I was a uh, pretty heavy duty into cigars, okay? I went to Cuba like five times, brought back boxes of cigars uh, to pay for the trips to a certain degree. I had a friend that worked in a with a movie studio and Cuban cigars were huge at the time, right? Nice uh, <laughs> Vito. Um, and you know, I would come back with boxes of cigars, I would declare them and stuff. And then he had some producers, directors and stuff that would come in from the United States and they were looking for specifically Cuban cigars because it was an embargo uh, with the United States where they can't, they couldn't get their hands on Cuban cigars and more in Vancouver, Canada, right? So I would go to the studios, look at this one, mass. Winter, 1996, 1997, I must have bought this one. Oh no, this is the last one maybe I got, check this out. Danny DeVito. So I would go and, you know, when they were doing the shoot in the studios and stuff, they'd put up a table for me and I'd bring out my cigars and have little drinks, Cuban, Cuban Havana Club or uh, honey, honey rum or honey drinks or different Cuban drinks and I would lay them out and people would grab some cigars and stuff, right? Uh, on the down low, of course, okay? And I had... Uh, Nice. And one of the things, I, I was the only person that had Hoyo de Monterey. If you know your cigars, in the early 1990s, Hoyo de Monterey double Coronas. I loved smoking those. I was the only one that had them in town in Vancouver. I was one of the few people in Canada that had them at the time, I think. Okay. I had a few boxes. And I was, I'd be smoking two or three a day. It was amazing. Right? And they were rated the best cigar in the world. Uh, for that year so basically for uh, sandwich between the year it was rated the best cigar in the world and uh, 99 out of 100 it got and sandwich a year or two on either side uh, I was sort of dealing in Hoya de Monterey double Coronas right and at the time uh, I had uh, uh, there's a relative I had in, in the States that my age as well and uh, he had gotten to smoking cigars as well. So, you know, he contacted me and he said, hey, Chicho, can you send me down some Cuban cigars? And I said, uh, sure, brother, you know, no problem. So I would, you know, take off the labels and just put them in a box and send them off and he got them and stuff like this. And, uh, <laughs> and as a thank you, okay, now he's no longer with us, unfortunately, he was a really nice guy, uh, very honorable. Uh, cousin and a friend second cousin and a friend but he's no longer with us but as a thank you he subscribed me for two year subscriptions for Cigar Aficionado and these are the books that you're looking at right now so I'll never get rid of these right these are with me for life right and they're all in very good shape but I think what I want to do is uh, go to the comic book store and uh, nice comic book store and grab uh, bags and boards. I don't know if they have them this big. Look at this, Jack Nicholson. Right. So this is a two-year subscription you're looking at from nineteen, maybe three years, two years maybe, nineteen ninety-four to nineteen ninety-six. That's where it's going from. Arnold Schwarzenegger and then what they would do with these magazines is you know they have articles and stuff like this and then they had cigars rated right they would start off with the best cigars right so for example uh, blind tasting the Cubans usually are the top right and whenever people smoke cigars and I know there's a lot of amazing cigars that other, you know, countries produce, right? Honduras, you got Mexico, you got uh, Dominican Republic and stuff like this. There are some amazing cigars that they put out. But for me, the full body of a Cuban is absolutely brilliant. And I've smoked a lot of Cuban cigars. Uh, 
just because I wanted to be around Cuban cigars, it was a period where uh, I went and got a job, part-time job, just as a hobby for a day and a half a week. I was working an exclusively Cuban cigar that had a lounge and we would just smoke cigars, everything that came in. Like I've smoked basically everything that we're putting out, right? Sampling them. Even Cohiba 2000 uh, special editions and stuff. We would smoke them, right? We're talking about, you know, if you enjoy something and if you have the time, you have the means, just go work in that field, right? For a little bit and appreciate what you have, what you can sample, right? Oh, Romeo Juliet, amazing cigar right punch amazing cigar Bolivar one of the fullest cigars you'll ever smoke from Cuba one of the fullest cigars period beautiful cigar right and each one would have you know it was a lounge that we had worked in and people would uh, uh, come in and they would have their own uh, it was sort of a private club so they would have their own liqueurs and we'll bring them out and serve them liqueurs and sit down and talk with them sometimes they were gangsters sometimes they were judges sometimes they were lawyers all the same really right doctors just regular Joe bro, bro businessmen travelers so it was an amazing experience right that's one box <laughs> should we go through more and thank you very much to uh, the people who are no longer with us who gave us gave us gifts that we treasure for life right really okay let's put this guy over here let's grab another one I got one here labeled uh, math uh, plus Chomsky let's take a look let's take a look okay Math plus Chomsky. It's a heavy book, heavy box. Let's crack it open. Hopefully, we got more math books here. I'm looking forward to uh, extending the libraries, right? This is, uh, this is definitely books. I got this in plastic bag again. All right, so let's crack this open. What do we got? Nice. And I've gone and seen Chomsky live. And I do have a book signed by him. I'm not huge into signatures, but oh, sweet, sweet! Check this out. I went and saw him during uh, this lecture. If you're Vancouver, you'll know this. BC, Sven Robinson, and the Burnaby Douglas NDP. Uh, they had a sort of an event where they brought uh, Chomsky in to speak in the, I guess, early 2000s. I went and saw them with. Uh, Jack Layton was there too. I shook Jack Layton's hand. And as a Canadian, Jack Layton was uh, uh, a great politician. He was one of the few that I personally have respect for. Okay. Here's some political books and some fantasy. Check this out. Dar Jamal. Okay. Important person right here. Dar Jamal. Okay. Beyond the Green Zone, dispatches from an unembedded journalist in occupied Iraq now he came and spoke in Vancouver and I went and videotaped him so I, I had a whole bunch of videos in a playlist on Dar Jamal it's probably in the politics playlist right and he was the only literally the only unembedded journalist independent journalist that went into Iraq and sold everything he was living in Alaska at the time sold everything he had and put his life at risk and went to Iraq to report what was happening and he did he was in Fallujah when the West annihilated that city right committed a lot of war crimes and he documented them important person and uh, there's a video that I have it's called uh, Dar Jamal uh, 
I call I think I called it war crimes in Fallujah or something like this where he he talks about one of the one of the things that happened to him uh, one event that happened to him okay I haven't read this book I've read articles a lot of articles I've read excerpts of this and I've watched his lectures okay he does a lot of work on environmental uh, on climate change right now okay Nice. I have a friend that, uh, as you know, I love the Death Gate cycle. When I showed you guys, I made up of, you know, put together a video where I was showing you my uh, com science fiction and fantasy book collection. Right? We talked about uh, some of the books that I've read, and we ended up uh, through that. I ended up reading the Riff War Saga because of recommendations, I believe. But um, I might have just decided to read that, and people have been recommending and been looking some of the recommendations. And one of the series that I recommended was The Death Gate Cycle, right? By Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman. And I have this, but this book is signed. It's in a bag. Same with this one, Margaret Wise, Mistress of Dragons. I had both of these. Uh, a friend of mine uh, brought these for me, okay? He, he, you know, he knows Margaret Wise and Tracy Hickman personally. He's, the, he's one of the people, he's the person that... Uh, in the gaming community, you know, and, uh, 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 should I drop? Uh, anyway, he does comic book conventions now, and he he had a huge role to play in Magic: The Gathering being created, right? One of the founding fathers of it. So we crossed paths and we're friends for a while. And he knew these authors, and he got them. He knew I liked Death Gate Cycle, so he got them signed and brought them to me. So thank you very much for that, uh, for bringing me these. I'm definitely going to put those up. Here's Noam Chomsky. Hegemony or Survival. I haven't read this yet. I've read a lot of Chomsky, as you know. And this should be signed. Yeah. Take a look. I should put this in a bag. This is signed as well. Okay. Awesome. Uh, you don't know who Noam Chomsky is? Watch his lectures. It's very monotone. Uh, but just drop in fact after fact after fact. But read his articles or read his books. He's an extremely uh, powerful writer. Okay. And mathematics books. Right. On. Awesome. <laughs> look. Awesome. Let me show you these. Uh, comparative analysis of Reed Solomon decoding techniques by Raymond Scott Burton. And I believe this is a thesis that the person has written on Reed, Reed Solomon codes. Right, fantastic. This is going with the math books. Nice. The calculus with, uh, the calculus with analytic geometry, part one, functions on one variable and plane analysis geometry. Lewis Lethor. These math books are Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. A handful of them were my own, the rest I inherited, and they will stay with me uh, as long as the cigar aficionado, right? They'll stay with me until I'm done. Okay. Awesome. Let me put these guys away too. Let's put this guy here. Take a look at this. Digital principles of digital and analog communication, Jerry Gibbon, Gibson. Nice. The development of coding theory, key papers. Look at this. For those of you that love the math books, right? I couldn't ask. Well, you could. But I love math books. Data communication and computer networks. Nice, nice, nice. Let's put these guys here too. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of stuff just piled up. Nice, look at this. Or how to solve equations, classical algebra, nice. Some Cole's notes here. I don't know if this is Cole's notes, but classical algebra, right? 
Nice. Electronic circuits. Shum's outlines. Shum's outlines. I used to use these a lot for certain things. All right. Perfect. Electronic circuits. Advanced calculus. They're amazing just to do review and do problems and they provide solutions. All right. Very good. Very good. But they're usually very good, right? They're very quick summaries. Like they're not meant to teach, they're meant for you to review and practice. Okay. If you're trying to learn from these, like from the get-go, the basics of it, it's not good. Okay. You need a full-blown textbook to be able to go through those. Awesome. Look at these ones. College physics. Again, Shum's outlines. Take a look at this. First year college mathematics. Cool. <laughs> Shum's outline. Theory and problems of real variables. Gotta make room in my library. Gotta make more room in my library. <laughs> Let me put these guys here. I might put some of these back in the box. Take a look at this. Introductory al algebra, a modern approach. Right. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful as well, right? Let's put this guy here. Oh, look at these more. Plane geometry. Linear algebra. There's years worth of education here. Wow, wow, wow. Complex variables. Look at this. Oh, in that book, take a look. Complex variables. This one's coming off. College physics. Like a. And we just recently did. Uh, that's it. That's the book. We just recently did sort of a open discussion on politics and stuff. And some people were asking me if there's any books, any people that uh, have done extensive work on South and South America, basically, right, and Central America. And I mentioned Tariq Ali, and I couldn't find it in my library before. Here's a book by Tariq Ali, and I got it signed. Sweet, <laughs> right? Pirates of the Caribbean, okay, Axes of Hope. It had uh, Evo Morales, Fidel Castro, and Hugo Chavez. And I went to the lecture uh, when Tariq Ali was talking. It was in a little restaurant. You know, there was maybe 30 of us or something, and he talked. and. We talked, he talked about politics, and I went up to him and talked to him a little bit and bought the book and got it signed, right? And this was in 2006. Awesome. I knew this book was signed. I was hoping it was signed. I knew I grabbed it. I was looking for it through a live stream, and I couldn't find it. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. Oh, and here's my another rice pack. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these guys back in here. Let me put this guy down. Okay. Let me bring these guys over so they don't get damaged. Nice. We'll sort that out later. Okay. Let me show you this. I got a, I got a poster in storage, right? So the big poster. It's not in good shape, but <laughs> can you see it? Awesome. 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 Beastie Boys. This poster is probably 
I'm guessing it's late 1980s, maybe early 1990s, this poster's from, right? One day I'll get it framed and put it up somewhere when I have the space. you've watched uh, some of the cooking streams you know my apron I made in grade 8 I kept it with me I don't know why here's something else I made in grade 8 in shop class right. highly recommend kids uh, to be put into classes where they're either making food and or playing with making something right maybe wood maybe metal maybe anything else right this is what one of the things i ended up making okay and we did a little bit of welding and stuff like this and initially in shop class they told us you know here's you got to do some metal work so everyone wanted to make a knife all right grade eight grade nine and they said we can't make a knife so we all made one of these things <laughs> and made them as sharp as possible crazy we used to throw these things in uh, in wood to see whose would stick better right let me put this guy let me put this guy where are we gonna put this guy let's put this guy here okay oh actually let me put this guy on the side here okay that's good old school and I used to have a fireplace right and that's one reason I made that thing this is, these things are amazing. It's like blow, boom, 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 boom. right? Now we don't have a wooden fireplace anymore. We've got a gas one, but take a look at these. This I've had since we were a kid in school. Right? It sucks in the air and pumps it out through here. So you can feed fire oxygen. Fantastic. Let's grab another box. Yeah? Let's do, let's do. Oh, this is light. What do we got? Cigar boxes and some random stuff. So let's crack it open. We'll take a look. Okay, let's see. I kept a lot of uh, cigar boxes from the time where I was, you know, from the 90s when I went to Cuba a lot, as well as the time where I worked in a Cuban cigar store, because some of the boxes, the cigar boxes they had were amazing, right? Beautiful, beautiful wooden boxes with little hinges you would open up. some random personal stuff here that we won't take a look but let's see what what some of these things are let's see if I can get some of the boxes here you want old school gaming joystick three-way deluxe I don't know what the, what the what the age for this is what is the age for this when did this come out I don't know I gotta show you this. this. Right. Awesome. Awesome. I even have the manual here. Look at this. <laughs> Joystick operation manual. <laughs> nice. We're gonna keep this. I have some old school electronic stuff, uh, some old games that at some point. Uh, you know, we'll make one more of these videos, sort of 
showing you the gaming stuff that I have. I know I promised to do it for a while now, but uh, slowly we get to things, right? Slowly we get to things. Let's see, let's put the tea here so we don't accidentally spill it. Do I have cigar boxes? Ooh, Here's one of the boxes. Right? This is, uh, this would have been Cohiba. Like the nice little boxes, right? You can crack them open. I got some of the cigars, Cuban cigars in here, right? They're just a, what do you call it? The foil for them. Here's uh, Romeo Juliet. These are the, uh, what do you call it? The Churchills, but they were the specials. They came in. You could buy the boxes. This is the Cohiba box, by the way, right? So delicious cigars, right? I think Cohiba is overpriced. You can get just as good Cuban cigars that aren't Cohiba, or well, sometimes better. So you're paying for the name a lot if you're buying Cohiba. Uh, but Romeo Juliet Churchills, these are amazing cigars, right? And here's a Monte Cristo. I forget what size this is. This is. Uh, this would probably be the Cor Corona. Okay, these were good too. But the Churchill, these were the special ones. You could buy the Churchills that didn't come in the tubes or buy the Churchills that came in the tubes. Um, I like both of them, but the tubes were good for traveling, trekking around. Let's put this guy in. I got some old school Apple gaming stuff, right? There it is. Wow. <laughs> For those of you computer people, check this out. Utility and disk drive, stealth. <sighs> Mouse driver. Not this one, sorry, this is a mouse driver, right? Look at this. This, for those of you who are into gaming, the Quest. Nice. This is an Apple II game. Karataka. Karataka. Look at this. I have some games, random games all over the place. That's one of the reasons I haven't made the gaming video yet because I know I have stuff that I haven't seen yet right i don't know how old that is look at this oh. <laughs> nice sky fox look at this seriously sky fox right awesome akron akron 2 look at that these are just copies we made Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> Look at this. Apple Works Data. What are the games? Do we have any more games? Ulysses. Death in the Caribbean. Side one and two. Old Iron Star Zork 2. Wow, wow, wow. These are all copies, right? So they're not the originals. Look at this, look at this. Okay, there's no more originals here, so I won't bother showing you guys the rest of them. But I have another one here. Let me put these guys back. Cool. Same with the electronic gaming stuff I have. I don't think I'll ever be really getting rid of those because they're basically impossible to get a hold of now. Opus. <laughs> what? Is there 
in a gaming world because these are just blanks that we filled in with stuff. Yeah, no game, no original games in this one. So we'll leave this one alone. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave these guys here. We won't go through this box anymore because this is just random stuff. So I'm gonna put this on the side. this one Lay back. here's books let's do this books 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 ah. this one just says straight up books I don't know what books they are let's grab them let's see what we got boxes of books like this are heavy right statistics third edition Robert Johnson right. money financial markets and economic activity Norman E Cameron Simplified engineering for architects and builders. Right. This is the construction stuff that I had. The books that I have over there, up here. There's a lot of construction stuff, right? Let's see what else we got. Nice. Looks like we're going to be expanding both sides of this, right? Hydraulics. Awesome. Always good to know hydraulics or have a book handy. That'll teach you hydraulics. Structural steelwork. Old school. What's this one? It's not stable. Uh, element of railway surveying. <laughs> nice. of railway surveying cool let's take a look at the books let's take a look at the books let me put these guys here let's see what else we got we got math and construction books applied complex variables functional analysis read it Introduction to coding theory and algebraic geometry. I gotta get into this one day. One day we learn about Solomon code theory. Higher mathematics. That sounds exciting. Calculus. Ah, oh, this is another book that I've used before. 
Calculus by Edwin Edwin Moses, I believe. Okay. Beautiful book. Like it. Calculus is about shapes, really. There's supposed to be a book out there that I don't I don't have that teaches calculus uh, with geometry. One day I'll get a I'll, I'll get a I'll get a hold of it. Horowitz and Hill, The Art of Electronics, heavy duty book, heavy duty book, nice, lifetime of learning here, right, automotive technology, Nash Bennett's, always good to have, always good to have, probably outdated now because a lot of cars are all, computerized right CMOS oh my god CMOS digital circuit technology wow 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 let's take a look at the rest of these two okay let's put these guys here down here what else we got road making machinery Always good to have construction books handy. Communication and Networks, a survey of recent advances by Ian F. Blake and Vincent Poor. I met Blake before. Mathematical Theory of Coding, Ian Blake again. And Mullen. Okay. He was uh, Ian Blake was one of the profs in Waterloo, uh, and he was there for a while in the electrical engineering department. Handbook for hydraulics, awesome. Handbook of hydraulics, right. awesome. Concrete and concreting. Awesome. Good to know how to make concrete, right? What's this one? Collection of problems in theoretical mechanics. Heavy duty. Small book, but what are some of the problems in theoretical mechanics? What are they? Classical electrodynamics. Nice. Let me put this one back. Here's another rice pack. Right. Oh, this book looks great. Residential carpentry. See, good book. Good book. Want to build a house? Here's a book that I'll teach you how to do it. Almost. Right. With the concretes. You need a concrete base, I think, in general. Stake the building. No, this starts off from the basics, right? This will teach you how to build a house. Almost. <laughs> right? Cool. Let me put some of the books back in this so they're out of the way and we'll grab another box right i think there's one more one more uh boxes of books that i should have here okay let me just take this down let's see where's the other box of books oh there's one more there Oh, two. I think there's two or three more boxes of books. Okay. So, um, this one is, this one's just personal stuff and some thesis work. So we're not going to crack this one open. 
No, let's not crack this one open. Okay. Let's leave this one here. What else we got? This one's book. Yeah, we got a, probably like three or four more boxes of books we see. Let me see this one. This might have some books in it, so let's crack it open and see. some of the original art for my comic books, the Mermaid comics. Nice. Take a look at this. Sweet. Bruce Springsteen. Right. Awesome. Fantastic. Right. Cool. No, these guys, no. These guys, no. <laughs> Should I show you this? Uh, I was into soccer, right? Let's do this. Wow. Here's some of the original art. Maybe I'll show you guys these later. So here's a couple of copies of Gogo -Go Boy number two signed, right? By Neil. I gotta put these in a bag and board. Different color for Starry Night. Okay, one of the comics I published. Gogo -Go Boy is a comic that I comic book that I published. I've told you a little bit about him. I print uh we made a video that we talked about Google -Go Boy. I just gave you an intro to it, and uh, and uh, and we'll talk a lot more about that. Here's another comic book that I published, Lander Number Two. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. stuff later okay here's some more <laughs> my soccer USA hat right this is uh, Florentina I believe but I liked I followed ser series uh, series A in Italy right so I did like my sports. I believe this is Fiorentina. He was uh, uh, he was playing for at the time. Uh, I liked Holland for a while for soccer, right? With some of the greats with uh, right card. No, not right card. Uh, oh, I forgot their names. This is 1990s, 1980s, right? I got the Dutch national team, right? Shirt. Awesome. This is Milan, I believe. Is this Milan? I still have the tag on it. I just bought it back then. Official licensed product. Ooh, I forget the team. I think it's Milan. Right? AC Milan or Inter Milan? I can't remember. Okay, we'll leave the rest of this alone. Okay. 
leave the rest of this alone. We'll consider that a sort of a tangent from the books, All right? Let's see what else we got. Let's do this. This should have books as well. Hopefully, anyway. All right? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's have a sip. It's got books and some course notes. Okay. Hopefully, it's got more books than course notes so I can show them to you. I think I might have to make a. Uh, what do you call it? More bookshelves, possibly. Because I still have. some boxes with more books in them I believe anyway let's check this out <laughs> Victoria Dipcon <laughs> best BC player Victoria Dipcon I think this is a plaque I got for uh, playing in Dipcon, one of the diplomacy tournaments. And we got a whole bunch of videos on diplomacy. It was one of the first set of videos, playlists that I ever put together where the World Diplomacy Championships were being held in Vancouver 19, in 2007, 2006, 2008. And I went there as a player, but I wanted to record it. I was getting the recording, so I made the recording. Um, that was a World Diplomacy Championship held in Vancouver. This one um, was in 2003 and DIPCON. It wasn't World Diplomacy, but it was DIPCON. I believe it was North American Diplomacy Championship. And I got a plaque for best player. And that's because I think uh, uh, we played one game where I only had one piece left. <laughs> I stayed alive for almost to the end. Right, I helped other people. I made deals to stay alive, and I zoomed around and backstabbed some people, and I got my hands on little factories so I could maintain my life. Right, fun, fun. Designing web graphics: How to prepare images and media for the web. This is like I don't even know when this is from. This is like 1990s got to be right old school old school i wonder how relevant it is now here's some course notes and stuff right we won't bother looking at these i wonder if there's any books down here okay all of these uh numerical recipes uh, elliptical curb log with no problems <laughs> Hardcore. Let's check this out. Computer Science 760. That's a grad course. Okay, we're going to leave these alone. This is course notes. Okay. There might be a couple of books at the bottom, but I'll go through these later. And if there's anything, well, we'll leave this alone. I think it's mainly, mainly course notes. Okay. Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Here's another box of books. <sighs> Take a look. Right. Pretty heavy. <laughs> this is full on books. It's got to be. Alright, so let's see. What do we got in these books? Love. Awesome. 
full on. Right, let me take a sip of the tea. Let's take a look at these math books. Finite fields for computer scientists and engineers. Awesome, awesome. We're finding some fantastic books in here. Optimal control theory. A lot of hard covers. This is soft cover, but very nice. Information theory and reliable communication. Awesome. Can you even see the text on it? Fantastic. Functional analysis. Fantastic. Where do we put these? Let's put these guys here. Cool. Hydraulics. Sweet. Construction books and math books. Fundamental of heat engineering and hydraulics. Awesome. What else we got? Concise practical surveying. Always good to know how to survey or learn how to do it. Just mathematics. Right. What's this one? Popular science, leisure, leisure homes, a selection of 56 unique houses uh, with interiors and, and floor plans. Sweet. Sample of homes that people have built, right? Why not? If you want to learn something, always good to look at what others have done, right? Building construction, draining, drawing, architecture work, basically, or building constructions, drawing. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's put this guy here. I'm being surrounded by CDs, DVDs, and books. You gotta love it, right? Communication systems. Awesome. Third edition. Stremler. Awesome. Introduction to digital signal processing. Ooh, heavy duty. Fantastic. And these are in pretty good shape. Fantastic books. Nice. A lot of these books are out of print. An introduction to applied probability. Fantastic, right? Linear analysis and differential equations. I think I would have to study for mathematics, get back into it, and study it for a number of years before I could even read some of these books. Right. Apply topics in signal processing. Awesome. Digital design. Learn the front end, learn the back end, right? Cool. And some of the prices on these books are insane, right? $57, $64. I don't know what they're going for now. Books are expensive. Algebraic coding theory, history and development. Awesome. Awesome. Look at this. Look at this. Fantastic. Fantastic. Right? An introduction to cryptology.
the development of information theory. Key papers in. Fantastic. Right. All of these books are 1990 or pre. Right. 1990s, uh, let's say. Early 1990s or pre. How to service and repair your own car. Awesome. Goes hand in hand with the other book, right? Always good to know how to service and repair your own car. Let me put some of these books back in this box. And here's another one of my rice packs, right? Let's put these guys there. Let's put these guys here. Let's put these guys here. And let's take this. Let's put it down. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see this one. I don't think this has any books, but we'll take a look. Okay. It might. Mm, I don't think it does. I'm just going to crack it open to take a look. Okay. I think there's one more box. At least one more box where we got books. So I'm going to try to get us to that one. That way. I would have opened up all the boxes and have a good idea of what's in each one so I can start sorting that. Maybe I misspoke. Looks like there are some books here. Let's check it out. Nice. MFC, Development Using Microsoft Visual C++. Version 6.0. C++ is still in uh, heavy use, I believe. Here's C. Okay, programming language. Just learning it, second edition. Okay. What's this one? Communication is annual. I don't know. What's this one? Understanding Programming, an introduction using C++. Scott R. Cannon. Okay. Soft cover. Oh, look at this. There's water there. Here, let me show you this. Here, let me put these guys on the side. There's some accounting stuff here, software. Oh, this is a box of toys. Here, let's put this guy here. Okay, here's another book on C++. Cool. C++ Prime, Primer. Huh? This is old school. Hold on, let me bring this out. I should be keeping this better shape. Take a look at this. This is a toy from, let me detangle myself. <laughs> this is a toy that we had when I was a kid from Iran, it's Popeye, right? There is Oliver, I believe. I forget what this guy's name is. Here's Hamburglar, right? And then when you move that, the wheel moves, the heads go up and down. Take a look. This is like, it's not in great shape. It has a little boat that sat in, sat in the back with the, the kid was swinging on it. 
So we've had this since I was like little. We brought it over from Iran. Cool, eh? Nice. I'm gonna put this on the side here. Here's another toy. Let me bring this out too. I'll show you this. Look at this. John Deere tractor. Again, we brought it over from Iran, right? This is this is another toy flying out. This is John Deere 5020 tractor. I still have the box for it, right? I think we lost a little snout here the, for the tractor doop, doop, for steam or whatever it is that pops out the exhaust right but we played with this a lot when we were kids okay we brought it over from Iran right nice tractor nice metal I don't know if these are collectible I'm assuming they are right because I can't see too many of them hanging around maybe okay let's put this box away Let's get the books. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy out too. I'll sort it out later. Let's put this guy here. Let's take a look at this one. This one says CDs, DVDs, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous could be anything. So let me crack this open. If it's CDs and stuff, uh, we got, what do we got? We got three more boxes. I think at least one of them is a box of books. So we'll hit the books. But let me crack this open at least so I know what's in here. Since we're at it. show you this as I showed you guys some of the com some of the soccer stuff that I've had right let me bring these over here's a couple of magazines from uh, Benicio del Toro playing Che Guevara in the movie that uh, I forget who directed it um, was it Oliver Stone and that's the back I got two copies it was a good movie it was a two-part movie that came out I forget when it was, mid 2000s. Check out some of the soccer magazines. I used to follow Soccer World. There's a whole bunch of these. Right? I used to follow soccer pretty closely for a while. Right. Here's some more, right? A couple more anyway. And more. And more. Nice. Brazil. 98. Oh, this is the person I was thinking about. Uh, Fiorentina, not Florentina. Fiorentina. Exclusive. A German and a Dutch player. Both of them played. They had an incident in the 19... 98 World Cup England football championships so I got some magazines here cool nice 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 some cards soccer cards I don't follow professional sports in depth anymore Let's put these guys, let's put them here for now. Anything else? 
yeah, there's stuff here, but we won't get into this. This is a lot of CDs. And I would have to crack them open in boxes themselves. So let's put this on the side here. What do we got? Let's grab this. Let's see what's in this. This might have books in it, math books in it. We'll take a quick look from the top. I know the other one, the next one is books. And I'm pretty sure it's math books. Math and construction, maybe, we see. Awesome. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Right? Talking about math books. 1985 mathematical calendar. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Beautiful. Simple. Oh, yeah. Look at this. See exponential growth. <laughs> the bottom, look at this in the bottom here. It's got the the month with a little cartoon thing. Uh, entering geometry land. Toll equals two good <laughs> equals two good proofs. All kings, all kings, add one corollary. <laughs> Hilarious. There's no royal road to geometry. Euclid. There's a quote from Euclid. Awesome. I just got a whole bunch of stuff here. Mathematical proofs and stuff. Nice. Cute. Very cute. I like it. I like it. Let's put that guy there. What else we got here? Okay. These are a lot of course notes and stuff. So we're going to leave this alone. Okay, we're gonna leave this alone. Good thing that thing was on the top though. Let's put this guy here. Okay, we got two more boxes to hit up. Let's check it out. This one just says straight up books and CDs. Books and CDs. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Anyway, the bottom is got to work, so yeah, there they are. Oh, yeah, lots of books. One part was uh, CDs, the other part was books. These are. Uh... Oh, look at this, another Renaissance. This is. Uh... This is John Digway, who's this? Renaissance. Right. Cool. Here's some covers for right. hip hop. Oh, almost lost that one. <laughs> Bad boys. Clear as clear water. So we'll skip these, skip these, skip these. Let's see what we got. Oh, 
Oh, wow, this one. Essential Selection, 1998. Cool. This was good, if I remember correctly. Cool. What's that guy? You leave that one alone. <laughs> Official free thing. Doctor Octagon. Sync. That was Adobe Illustrator, just random CDs. What is this? Randomness, randomness. What's this guy? Ultima Online. They got <laughs> oh, so registration code on there too. Ultima Online. Fantastic. How old is this? What year is this? This has got to be late 1990s, I believe. I can't remember. Those of you who are into gaming, you should know. I hope you know if you know your gaming history. I I don't. I just played games a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> awesome. Valid only at URL. UltimaRegistration.com Is that still around? thousand windows nt workstation number four or 4.0 generic way what else we got what else we got let's put this guy here i got some sorting to do oh wow Nice. The Academy by request. The Academy by request. Who are these? <laughs> I swear this has got to be classical. <laughs> I remember it. I haven't played CDs forever, right? Let's check it out. Yeah. So this is a collection of classical music. Some of the masters. Conducted by, I'm assuming, some symphony, some orchestra. Cool. Let's put this guy here too. Let's put these guys here. Let's take a look at some of these books. Yeah. Taking little tangents here and there. What is this one? Uniform Building Code, 1967 edition, volume one. Building codes have changed a lot since then. Mathematics for secondary school teachers. Wow, I should take a look at this. Cool. I should take a look at this, All right? A student's guide to physics 12 1991 prefabrication of reinforced concrete my building section of my library is increasing big time strength of materials nice nice let me put these guys on the sides. Let's do this here. 
so we don't accidentally drop things. The physics of electricity and magnetism. Awesome. Electromagnetic and magnetic methods is sort of what I specialize in geophysics. Okay. Principles of communication engineering. What wasn't Kraft and Jacobs? Cool. Wasn't Kraft and Jacobs? Let me put this guy on the side. Wow, lots of CD covers in this. Just didn't have enough room to keep things in their CD boxes, right? It was nice. Let me put these guys away as well. Sasha and John Digweed, Northern Exposure. Ah, look at this one. Michael Jackson. Nice. And then we got Sasha and John Digweed, Northern Exposure to CD set. Nice. Very nice. I showed you guys those guys. Let me put these guys back here. Electric Motors, sweet, nice book. Irrigation principles and practices. So this looks like a mix of construction. Here, let's show it to you this way. Mix of construction and uh, mathematics books, right? Cool. Elementary differential equations and boundary value problems. Yes, please. Cool. What's this one? Lecture notes in control and information sciences. Bruce Francis, a course in H infinite control theory. H infinite to take a look. That's cool. What's this one? Invitation to Geometry. That's a great name. Z A Melzak. Fantastic. Invitation to Geometry. Cool. These are circuits and stuff too. Very cool. What's this guy? Introduction to topo topological groups. Same. Cool. There's some great math books here. A lot of this I don't know. Much of this I don't know. Wow, this looks heavy. Heavy, heavy. Right. Heavy, heavy. Advanced calculus. Lots of calculus books. Stephen Hoffman. Okay. Cool. We got one more box. I think that's just some personal stuff, but I'll bring it over and crack it open. If we find any books, we'll take a look. Okay. Let me put this guy here. is gonna have any books but it felt like it should heavy -ish. The series of top. Yeah, this has got a lot of notes, a lot of CDs. 
So we're gonna leave this alone. This is, uh, oh, this is yeah, this, this will take a long time to go through. Oh, there's some CDs here. Spiritual X by Dimitri. Music from the motion picture extreme. You know what? We'll take a couple look at a couple of CDs here. Spiritual mix. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, Los Terribles. I'll show you this one. Here's a rush. Here, I'll show you the I'll show you this. Here's Cuba. Right. Cuba not for music. Here's Rush, permanent waves. Love Rush, love Rush. And take a look at this. This is a band called Los Terribles. Right? Los Terribles. And these guys were the people that uh, were behind the comic book that I published called Eye for an Eye, right? It was a sort of a futuristic, dystopian, uh, skateboarder, thrash type of comic book black and white that was, that was sort of a gang that was trying to make their way across the united states the united states had been partitioned and stuff like this and this is their band los terribles they were like thrash metal right and this is their cd they sent me okay very cool very cool very uh one of their favorite bands was slayer so there was it's very slayerish okay fantastic Rest. I think we're gonna leave the rest of this alone. Okay, there's a lot here. <laughs> it's gonna take me a while to go through and sort through and try to put some of the stuff together because some of the pieces were in one box and you know the covers were in another box and whatnot, right? So I'm not gonna go down this rabbit hole yet. Okay, so that's it for this uh, unboxing, I guess. This is a lot that I brought in from storage. I probably have a couple of more boxes of books and magazines maybe two or three more bo boxes in storage that i might bring at some point and if we get the opportunity we'll go through them again right now my main concern is going to be sorting through this and expanding my bookcase my library to fit all the new books that we have and hopefully try to organize them a little bit okay and i really wanted to make this video because i just want to make it a follow-up as to the previous video that we put out and since that time i've mentioned that i do have more boxes of books and stuff that i do have to bring in to this space that we're in right now and i would share that with you if i could and this was us going through it and i hope you enjoyed i hope you saw some stuff here that you liked maybe music maybe dvds math books construction books magazines a uh, couple of toys a couple of trinkets <laughs> okay and uh, I'll see what I can do in sorting this stuff out and thinning what, uh, what I have here or making it more compact anyway and make room to bring more boxes in that we might possibly go through, okay? Aside from that, uh, thanks for being here. If you do enjoy, consider subscribing, turning on little bell notification thing that you can turn on on whatever platform you're watching when the videos get loaded on. And if you do have the means, support this work either through Patreon or Subscribestar or through direct donations and a bunch of ways, including cryptocurrencies described, listed in the description of this video. Okay. Aside from that, I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Bye for now.